the world's first Tango-enabled phone mm -hmm. uh, from Lenovo. Big. 6.4-inch screen. Yeah. Uh, 2560 by 1440 resolution. Uh, it is enormous. You have an iPhone 6S. I do. Not the Plus. Right. But the iPhone 6S. And it's... Dwarfed. Yeah. It, it's almost comical. Yes. Um, it, I don't... Have there been other... There have been other... Screens of this really size, big probably, phones, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a good looking phone. It's a powerful phone. It's uh, man, we're looking at like a Snapdragon eight twenty, yep. a ton of sensor we've, sensors we've never really seen before. Uh, so it will support Tango, and the whole point of that um, is to support Google's Tango or Project Tango, which is now just Tango, mm -hmm. uh, which is. Uh, basically a whole bunch of additional motion tracking and sensing that allows them to use it as a augmented reality window. It has it has a depth sensor. Mm -hmm. It's got four cameras on. It's got a front facing or rear facing or standard. Then it's got a depth sensing camera and uh, now I can't remember what the fourth one actually was, but it's got four different cameras that all combine into the ability to do. I, what I found interesting was Intel was here. They were on right. stage. This is not an Intel powered phone. It's a Qualcomm right. powered phone. Uh, but Intel had RealSense. Remember we looked at the, there was a Dell tablet um, that had RealSense and it yes. had the ability to kind of do depth measurements and stuff. But it was just using stereo cameras and then a whole bunch of math. This doesn't really have any specific stereo camera in it. It uses single cameras that are doing different, different things. Yeah. Um, well, it was funny because they're like, okay, it's $499 mm -hmm. um, unlocked going to be available September 16th, uh, Best Buy, you know, major partner. And, yep. oh, by the way, it's going to be at Lowe's in time for the holiday yeah. shopping season. I, I'll admit, when, we, when I first got the information, it only listed Lowe's. It oh, did not funny. list Best Buy yet. And I thought, well, that this would be the – I think this is the first time a Lenovo phone is being sold in the U.S., mm -hmm. right? Um, and – like Lowe's was very confusing to me, but when they when they all the demos they showed, so they're showing a bunch of augmented reality demos. One where <laughs> there's a dinosaur, that, right? Like a dinosaur app that you can basically bring up dinosaurs from Velociraptors mm -hmm. to Transformers Rex, whatever it is, and it'll be in your physical space. You can right. walk around it and interact with it in some ways. Well, scale while it up, you're scale looking it at down. there, you go. Yeah, while you're, you're looking, you're at, your looking phones. at it through the phone, yes. I played that game. It's really awesome. Is it really? I really enjoyed it. Like the aliens invading your room. The aliens invading your room. Um, but the other thing they do is like, hey, what will this, ch you know, chair from this catalog look like in this space? Right. Um, and that was, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of something that we've seen people playing with on apps mm -hmm. on, on mobile devices for a while. One of my favorite ones, you would take a magazine, you would throw it onto the floor, a standard size magazine, you would throw it on the floor, you would take a picture with that and then take more pictures around the room and it would extrapolate the dimensions of the room uh, from the known okay. size of the magazine. Gotcha. So, you know, this is Project Tango is, is... Essentially, gosh, if there was a thing that's like $3,500 from Microsoft, this developer kit. Um, um, HoloLens. That's the one. Yeah. So yeah. it's like HoloLens without a lens inside your phone. Uh, and it's, it's kind of true to the whole sort of uh, right. Google Android experience where if we can do it on a phone and make it more affordable for people, we're going to do that. And, and it's cool. $499. Um, I, I did a demo of this at Mobile World mm -hmm. Congress where uh, Lenovo gave us the Tango Project Tango tablets where you walked around a museum right and it did a kind of a structured tour through it and the same idea was going to be applied here right uh and it's 49 it's available in september i think it's 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 really interesting to look at it from a, the, a viewpoint of there hasn't been a whole lot of innovation in phones this is a very large phone so it's like you know you've got a specific audience that you have to you know target with that well phablets are you know it's it's for people who've been carrying a you know six inch phone it's not yeah. going to be that much bigger it's it 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 is bordering on tablet level but it's also <laughs> you know it's a tremendous amount of technology and it's also lenovo partnering uh partnering with uh lenovo partnering with with google to kind of lead right. the edge on on a pretty big it's project. It's impressive. It's a, it's, yeah. it's a neat device.